the patch part. All right, we have a lot of well, a lot of bits and bits and pieces of topics. I think in this episode, we'll start. I think after we introduce ourselves. My name is Eugene Kim, and I'm with Pauline Wong and John Bogdan. Hey, everyone. Hello, hello. Hi. Was that an echo version of it? <laughs> yeah. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, we we we're kind of in the middle of planning a lot of different things in the in this podcast as well. So uh, as you probably heard from uh, last week's episode, that John just got back from Iceland, and and we're kind of going away together together soon. Today we're going to talk about first we're going to talk about the sort of like we're going to review the podcast. So how's been going? How we feel about it? If you guys want to continue doing this, or you want to quit, or <laughs> all that kind of stuff, and then we have we have some exciting announcement sort of towards the middle, towards the end of it. So we'll we'll do the we'll do the podcast review first. So well, we have some questions related to that. Yes, yes. Do you want to? As always, do you want to kind of go through the questions then? Okay. What have you liked about starting the podcast? Since this is well, this is our twenty fifth one. So, what have you liked about it? It really pushed me to do to learn a bunch of things. <laughs> <laughs> you mean the you mean after listening to our podcast or by doing the research for the podcast? By doing the research and also like <laughs> remember I, you remember I didn't know how to use any editor whatsoever. Oh, that's true. Like, right. Yeah, that's true. And then now I'm pretty comfortable with it. So mm. yeah. That's one thing, but generally, I just like talking to you guys. I mean, that's the yeah, yeah. Aside from that one episode where we had, I had to talk too much. <laughs> the na- that the national parks episode. If you haven't listened to it, <laughs> go back to that episode and listen to it, guys. I, was, I wasn't quite sure you, which one you were talking about. Yeah, but yeah now I remember. <laughs> no, that one, that one, that was. That's my least favorite episode. That was the <laughs> way out of John's comfort zone. Yeah, I didn't like that. Yeah, but anyway, we got that out of the way. How about you guys? What do you like the well, most? Well, speaking of comfort zone, I think what I liked most is like it actually pushes me out of my comfort zone because I remember the first I don't know how many episodes it took, but I got nervous. But now it's just chatting, you know, like I don't get nervous anymore. And well, I think, true. and also at first, it was very weird listening to myself talk. But now I think I'm just like immune to it, <laughs> just like whatever to me. Just my voice. I just have to deal with it. <laughs> when I'm editing, I still think about that. Like, man, I, I sound like that. Mm. But yeah, I'm getting just get used to it. Yeah. No, I'm exactly the same. Exactly what I was saying. I'm gonna say about what Pauline Pauline just said. Like, so mm-hmm. it, it was literally pushed me out of the comfort zone, and that was like sort of like the whole purpose of me or us doing the doing the podcast in the first place. Because because I feel like. You know, I think this is something that we covered in inside the sort of like the imposter syndrome. Like we have to be the expert, but yeah. sometimes I feel like my communication skill is not really there to sound like an expert. Like I don't have that sort of like I feel like I don't have that sort of like commanding voice or commanding sort of way to communicate with people. And I think by listening, well, doing this podcast and listening back to it, kind of give me a sense of. What I need to improve on, and I think I am definitely improving, improving them. But mm-hmm. at the same time, it's not something that I can change over. Well, not even, not even this, not even in the six months time. But I think I am definitely more aware of like what how I'm saying. So that, like I have a lot of ums, I have a lot of things, <laughs> I have a lot of. There's a lot of different different sort of like things that I don't really need to be saying. So. I think just improving those, and by the time I feel like I'll be like that, that I'm satisfied with the way I'm doing the podcast. I think I will have much better communication skills with my clients, and in like during the wedding as well. So mm-hmm. that's something that I feel like definitely satisfied with. Yeah, yeah, and just like another opportunity for me to be creative because you know, kind of improving my skills also with you know editing the podcast and also creating the posts yeah so just in case everyone didn't know pauline's been in really the ch- in charge of all the posts on the instagram and facebook and 
it's pretty amazing that the all the all different ways that she comes out with with all the I'm running out of ways. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, she, thank, she, thank God she, I don't have to think about that. Well, why not? Like you have to think about it as well. I can see why. Like this is a full time job for some people because <laughs> it takes so it's much time. Much. Oh, but again, man. I don't think I don't think there's anyone who's successful podcast that does everything by that one person. Like it's True. always like they'll have team. Mm -hmm. Like they would have editor, mm -hmm. they would have like a creative yeah. teams and, and all that. So that's yeah. true. It's kinda of nice that we have three hosts. Yeah. So <laughs> So then I guess moving to the next question, what challenges have you faced maybe individually and maybe as a group? I think, well, on top of, you know, some of the getting out of the comfort zone, but mm. I think the fact that it is a teamwork, you know, it's not like our own, own individual thing. It's not like mm, the way mm. I have to do everything, like I can do just whatever I want. That worked, I think, in both pros and cons. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pros as in like, I think if I had done it like just by myself, I would have quit mm. like as soon as I hit that first sort of obstacle. I think that's yeah. probably one of the reasons that I still haven't started my YouTube channel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And also like in terms of like doing, you know, some of the like, I can say probably not, not every episode has produced in a way that I wanted, mm. but that's also, that's, in, in my own way, that's not very satisfying, but at the same time, it's very satisfying that I was able to be in a team and be able to produce something together. It's something, I guess, I don't, I haven't really done much of. That's a, that was a challenge and a very positive side of things. To me, I think the hardest would be like, I would say time management, because I would say the podcast is another thing that's like, you know, we have to think about every two weeks or every week for Pauline, there's a lot of posts that you know, she's got to do. <laughs> and for me, I, I need to a lot of time to like edit the video. And if it's like an hour long, I have to listen for like an hour long video, you know, you know cut that down and all that. And also the, the podcast alone is also time that we're spending in front of the computer instead of, you know, spending our time with our families and loved ones. So I, I would say that's that's one of um, the challenges, like just time management. How about you, Pauline? Yeah. So I mean, the posts. I know there's no but like there's no pressure, but I put pressure on myself, you know, to come up with something that's eye catching, that's you know maybe informative, that's relatable. So definitely a challenge, but maybe it's a good challenge. Like it does force me to kind of you know work my brain and you know go through all the possible things that we can showcase on our Instagram and stuff. But yeah, I mean, it's a good challenge, I think, but something I think we'll continue to face. Mm -hmm. John, John and I will help, help more. Yeah, I mean, some, I think some episodes are just harder to think about for in terms of posts. Some are come naturally, like some I could just do real fast, but other yeah. ones I'm like, I'm stuck. <laughs> That's when you need to listen to the source of inspiration. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Next question. What do you see as the future for the podcast? I mean, we already talked about this, Eugene. You didn't even think we would go past episode three. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I mean, like, I think that that was like exaggerating a little bit, but I think. Yeah. I didn't think mm -hmm. I didn't think we would go through to episode twenty-five, just because, like I said, like if I if I were doing this by myself, I think I would probably start way before, just because of. The, the amount of things that we have to do or the I, I have to do and and there was just probably not enough time in terms of like with with the work and you know doing yeah. this as well so I think just the fact that we've got to 25 episodes is pretty amazing but mm -hmm. now I think that's kind of it's a it's an exciting sort of like step because now we can hopefully the number of listeners at the beginning sort of like when we started I didn't care too much about how many listeners we have. I mean, obviously we're doing it, so like it's nice to have more listeners than not have them. Yeah. But now, like I'm, I want to, I want to really this to be a thing. Like in terms of like have more conversation with people and mm. you know really share this. You know all the things that we're saying in the podcast, like share their views and you know have have some ideas bounce bouncing back and forth. All that kind of, you know, building a real community, I think is one thing that 
I would love to see in the future. But yeah, mm-hmm. we'll just yeah, we'd love to see where that goes. Yeah, that would be really nice to have, you know, more f- interaction and just um, like beyond just us three. I think that'd be nice because yeah, we do. We can see how, for the most part, how many people have listened. So it'd be nice to know who these people are and to get yeah. involved with them and see, you know, how they found us and just get to know them as well. So if you're listening. We want to hear from you. Yeah, and I think it's one of those things. Like I think in other other podcasts, not photography related, but any other podcast or any other YouTube, you know, oftentimes I think it's one of those we advertise to the people like around us first, like friends and families, and get everyone to listen to us like on a on a mm-hmm. like every week. But I don't know. I don't know about you guys. I haven't done that too much. Like I, it's one of those things. Like if I post on Instagram, I'm not like super active on posting. The patch pod post on my own Instagram either. So like, I haven't had that many people sort of like follow, follow the patch pod Instagram or the Facebook on, on from my client base. So it's one of those things that I've been wanting. I've been wanting to kind of see just grow sort of naturally, organically. Yeah. So I know I know probably more than half of the followers are Pauline's friends, friends. <laughs> yeah. or, or past uh, clients. Uh, I have one follow that's my, my best friend. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Shout out to Brandon. Oh, actually, Nate, Nate is also a follow right now, so a listener. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, so. You, <laughs> <laughs> Who did you? <laughs> me, me, I have. No, I have, he has one. I have one, one, okay. one, one bride. One, one bride. Decided, oh, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Man, Paul is like just heavy lifting over here <laughs> doing all the posts editing and then also the followers like <laughs> it probably doesn't need us in this <laughs> we should change we should change the name of the podcast peapod oh, <laughs> oh boy so yeah thank I you mean, pauline the future i don't know i mean it's so hard to kind of you know say what's to come i mean there's the exciting things gonna come but like in terms of long-term future i'm not sure we'll just have to see how it goes yeah, but I think, you know, like how we were like wrapping at the end of the 2022, like mm-hmm. we haven't really expected how 22, 2022 will come out, but then we met each other, yeah. like we started the podcast. So honestly, like going through like the sort of like halfway through of this and halfway through, of, well, six months kind of thing, but we, I think it's, it's already beyond, I don't know about you guys, at least beyond my imagination in terms of like how, how much we've discussed and how much we uh, we've been producing so it's been there uh, it's been fun so i hope i hope to see a lot of a lot of surprises like that in the future i think we did mention maybe something last episode but are there other projects you want to take on together projects well we, we had we had something that we were talking about isn't that there was this one person that wanted us to shoot her entire like three of us wanted <laughs> yeah she wanted us to Shoot her wedding or elopement. Yeah. The three of us. That's interesting. No, but I was referring to when we were talking about Pod workshop. (laughs) Oh, yes, yes, yes. That seems like such a long time ago. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, I guess it was a week ago. (laughs) Yes, yes. That's something. I think, yeah, kind of what you said first. I think it would be really fun to work together on an actual wedding like us working as a team, I think that'll be mm. really fun. That's a project mm. that, you know, hopefully that will happen yeah. in the future. Other projects, yeah, I, I'm not I sure. Also, I also like that workshop too. That's, that's <laughs> yeah. I like workshops. <laughs> yes. Well, you never it's, know. We never know. We, I think once we kind of grow a little bit, a little bit more as like every, like as an individual photography businesses, we can just become a, become a one company and also is like, so Pauline takes on entire Canada <laughs> and um, John takes on entire sort of adventure elopement side of things. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Then, and then I do, I'll be just sitting in the office and just doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Client, client management. Well, yeah, I don't, I don't like to edit anyway, so you can do that. <laughs> if I could just shoot. Oh, that would be amazing. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think there's a lot of, I think a lot of there, I think there's a lot of projects that probably we can, we can dream of that we can do together. I think like for me, I, it's one of those, one thing that I wanted to do, like when, when my business really grow and I have sort of like automate in terms of like the number of clients I get is not 
photography related travels, but the actual travels. Like I know Pauline kind of joked about this, like in the, one of the episodes quite a while ago, like maybe me starting a travel agency. <laughs> oh um, yeah. <laughs> But it's it's true. Like I think it's one of the what it's one that I I've been wanting to do, not in a sense that like just any kind of travel agency just to kind of make money, but to kind of really show people that not many people go to or something people don't know about or some you know the some the secret side of things or and imagine turning that into sort of like weddings or elopements and you know elsewhere in different countries and. And all that, I think that'll be that'll be pretty fun. John will be charging the charge in the Iceland, and yeah. Wait, what? Be, John can be in charge of the Iceland oh, yeah. side of things, and then we can I expand feel, from there. No, I feel like I can I can really do it after being there. Well, but I you, only you've been to Iceland a couple of times, right? Just once. Once, okay. Mm-hmm. But Pauline, you did the entire thing, right? Like the, the entire what do you call it? Ring road. We did like basically the perimeter, so I didn't. Okay. We didn't go in the center, but like oh, basically the, highlands. the whole. Yeah, yeah, we didn't go to the highlands because yeah. yeah. we went That's September. Fine. So yeah, I don't know what ice room would have for me when I go when I go to Iceland. Eugene, you have to try your luck. Yeah, I, I, I did tell you guys about the Iceland and my my side of the story, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. My, when I first tried to go when I was 13 years old, my, my friend broke his leg, so we couldn't go. And then the second time we tried to go, the volcano erupted, so we didn't go. So, yeah, yeah. that's been about 30 years of, well, I've mm. only tried twice, but yeah. <laughs> so, just in case any of my potential clients are listening to this and you wanted to go to Iceland and now you heard this and you didn't want to book me, but no, I'm, I'm sure I'll be fine. Okay, so back to the podcast. How do you come up with topics? What works for us is like we we have a bucket, and anytime we think of something, anytime we just write it down in our in our list, and we yeah. we decide if it's good enough to talk about in our podcast. <laughs> if it's interesting enough, then we talk about it. It's yeah, it's very it's fluid. The most proud topic um, that I suggested was the three thousand to spend on the Christmas day. <laughs> oh yeah, for, for Christmas. That was the best. Man, that was that was. That was only the third, was it the third episode? Yeah, that was loved by these yeah. two. So like, <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, that was how. Hey, I think we, we got to do that again on Black Friday. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> One of my favorite episodes ever. Yeah, so we have like a whole list. There's probably some on there that we'll probably never have an episode on just because I don't know if all of us would want to talk about it. <laughs> yeah. Mm. yeah. And we also have like the mini bucket for hot takes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then there are just some, some random suggestion that we, like one person think that was really good and the other two were like, probably like, <laughs> no, we shouldn't do that. But the, that one person like kind of pushes it and then we do it and then there's like only 25 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs> well, most of the time our episodes are I wonder long. which one that is. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I that one time. Who, you, guys can go the through the, you guys can go through the list. And oh. see one one that's really short. Now one time, <laughs> only one person was talking. <laughs> well, there's more than one time that only one person kind of talked. But, <laughs> but yeah, there was there was a one that was particularly a little bit shorter than the other one. <laughs> I think also me. I think you can tell by you know my my face if I am enjoying something. <laughs> Everyone's I, gonna be. Aware of how you your facial expressions. That's one of the reasons that you guys need to watch. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's obvious which one, like John and I, really like to talk about. <laughs> yeah, I, I like the, I like the way you grouped you and John. No secret, it's no secret. Everyone yeah. knows. <laughs> yep. So the next question is kind of similar. Do you prepare for the recordings? Do you come up with questions in advance? For this episode, Pauline did. <laughs> well, I don't. Most... <laughs> okay, so I, 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 I everyone's gonna one. know our secrets now. But <laughs> I mean, I feel like if they know us a little bit, or if they've been listening, they kind of can already have a sense of you know how we work, who's in charge of what, <laughs> who's good at you know some things over the other. I think I think I'm definitely one that who cannot record an episode without any preparation. 
I, I, I would do like even if it's a little bit, I would do a little bit. And I, I am the loose one, so, <laughs> so I pretty much don't prepare anything. My motto is go with the flow, and I stick by it. <laughs> and I'm in the middle with a lot of things. <laughs> I can see both sides, and I take both sides. So I like to prepare myself a little, but you know, at the same time, you can't, you can't have everything. <laughs> Pre- <laughs> you can't have everything pre-written. <laughs> True. <laughs> so, so yeah. So yeah. There's a lot of a lot of meaning to that. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Every detail. Okay. Yeah. Next question. That's all. <laughs> That's it. All the questions. No, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> we're not done with the um, the thing. Was like him going with the flow. <laughs> I just I tried. I just feel it out and ask questions. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> so I guess I do have one question, kind of extending out from there. Like, have you guys been enjoying doing the patch pod? Yeah, so far I've been I've been enjoying it. <laughs> I mean, it's a, yeah, I've been enjoying talking to you guys on a weekly basis. So basically what I'm looking for, like community-wise, mm-hmm. yeah, and it's been a good thing for me. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. I think we've gotten more used to the routine of things. We, I think at this point we kind of know, like if people don't know, we record two in one day. And I think now that we know how we feel after the second we. We tend to make it work in the sense where the second, you know, topic we talk about should be more, you know, more fun, more loose, more casual, so it's less of brain thinking. work, <laughs> yeah, less thinking. Yeah. But yeah, overall, it's been a lot of fun, especially most people know I've only seen you guys for two days in person. So it's crazy how we've gotten to know each other so much more over yeah. these and we probably Definitely. wouldn't have otherwise. So yeah. Mm. Mm. And just so everyone knows, we record at 7.30. <laughs> p.m. And that usually lasts until like, I don't know, maybe 10 p.m. the latest. So we're I think one time tired. it went sometimes up to like 10.30. 11, no, 10.30. Yeah. <laughs> so sometimes if we, if we look like we're sleepy, it is. Yeah, we are. <laughs> we're tired. and yeah. That's too much of a secret that went out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you can cut it out. <laughs> But yeah, no. I mean, I think I think everyone already knew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. It's been it's been super fun. I think it's been one thing that I've been kind of looking forward to, like every week. Sort of like direction that we want to go with the, each and every episode, and also like what sort of direction that we want to go. To. But yeah, thank you, thank you for spending last last six months with me, and then I don't know how long it will last, but yeah. So no one ever no one ever asked us this, but I think it's probably a good time to kind of reveal. What the name means? <laughs> the name of the podcast <laughs> means. Have we ever said anything about the patch pod? Like, why is nope. it called the patch pod? <laughs> so, I think yeah, I don't think I don't think we ever mentioned that. Yeah, literally, what that is is Pauline P, and then Eugene <laughs> E, and then John J. <laughs> well, the whole whole reason that I thought I thought of patch pod is because it was symmetrical. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It looked aesthetically. It looked good, like when it when it was kind of written out. So, yeah. So, but yeah. if you if you don't really see what that is, like go and have a look at our our logo. You will probably be able to see what we mean by it. I thought it sounded okay, Badge. <laughs> so, okay, that sounds okay. Yeah, let's let's do that. And then and then another thing about the patch pod is very unique. Like when people search patch pod, like we're the only one that pops up. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that's true so yeah that in that sense it probably works but yeah in case you guys haven't known about what the page pod meant now you know and you probably feel a little bit closer to us than than ever <laughs> <laughs> you know i'm glad we came up or we ended up going with this option <laughs> yeah there were some other other options like yeah. journey journey in photography <laughs> or something. something cheesy yeah yeah yeah, no, I like it. I like I like the patch pod. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, now you know, us talking about getting closer in terms of like getting closer to our listeners, our audience. We'll probably get a little bit closer, like ourselves as well. Like Pauline mentioned, we met. Like John and I work together, like being in the same city, but 
we really spent time. I mean, I I was in the same group with Pauline in in Banff, Canada, for the workshop, and and through that I've got to know Pauline well enough to do the podcast together, but not really yeah. well enough to, you know, we didn't really have time that much time together. And then John only got to meet Pauline. I mean, although he was in the same space, like he never really talked to Pauline until the very last minute. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and we're going to make that even closer this week. Scary to think it's this week. So Foco is doing another not a conference this time instead of in Banff, Canada. Although they're going back to Banff in Canada, Banff, Canada in September. In May, they're doing it in Hawaii, Kapalua to be exact, in Maui. So we're going to Maui, and we are sharing Airbnb. John will be bringing his family, and I'll be bringing my family. So we'll be in the under one roof and sharing Hell a lot pod of stuff. reunion. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Do we do we say our surprise now or? <laughs> sure, John, go ahead. Okay. <laughs> well, we have we have a few guests. So I am quite excited. Taylor Jackson, Sam Hurd, and Caroline Tran, also Lachlan from Focal, <laughs> will be with us for the Pedge Pod. So it's quite exciting. Yeah. So I think until now we we've been saying that you know the Pedge Pod is a non-educational po- podcast just because really us three combined in in this photography industry like we're not. Super experienced, but so we never wanted to be, a, never intended to be a, an educational podcast. But I've, we one of the reasons that we started is because there's probably a lot of people who feel so somewhat similar on a similar boat, a similar situation as as we are. So kind of nice to just kind of talk about these things, just to kind of emphasize that you're not you're not really alone, kind of thing. But I think for the next. Quite a few episodes. What we're calling it, summer in Hawaii, because literally it's going to go through the entire summer month, at least in the northern hemisphere, and throughout all the episodes that we will be rec- recording in Hawaii. But by having those four very successful wedding, well, three very successful wedding <laughs> photographers, and one, um, he's a CEO of Lachlan is a CEO of, of Focal, but he he talks to so many photographers in general. So I'm sure he has. A lot to teach in terms of not only about the photography side of things, but also in the also in the business side of things. So it's we're very excited. We we're kind of waiting to kind of to learn a lot from them as well. Yeah, we cannot really wait to kind of dive into discussing all these things. You guys looking forward to it? <laughs> yes, it's gonna be I interesting am. to see how it changes the dynamics of things because you know we're so used to just us three. So it's yeah. gonna be. Yeah. So we're interesting to see how just an extra person, extra yeah. body, extra voice is going to impact I'm already, us. I'm already know? nervous. I'm like <laughs> me starting like, okay, welcome back to the patch. But I'm like, I'll be like, I'll be like shaking. <laughs> oh boy. No. I might just stay quiet in the corner. And <laughs> <laughs> just listen the entire time. But yeah, that's going to be, yeah, it's going to be exciting. Interesting. The way we're going to edit is going to be quite different to how you guys been seeing our our podcast as well. So I think for those definitely check out check out the YouTube and Spotify for like actually watching it. Now that we are four days away from going to Hawaii, we're going to Hawaii all on the same day. How have you guys been planning? What are you looking forward to do in your own time? And what are what are some of the some of the things that you like to do? <laughs> The thing I'm excited about the most is because, like, it's been raining so much here. I'm excited to see sun <laughs> for mm. at least a day or more. I forget what warmth feels like because it's just been cold. <laughs> right now, it's, I mean, it's heading into May, but today felt like what it should be like in March. Um, What's the temperature so, like over there? Like low double digits of like 11, 12, 13. Mm. Okay, so anyone in America, that means oh. about 50, 40, 48, 40, yeah, 48, 50 degrees-ish. Yes. Yeah. So. And obviously Hawaii has been on my top, I think I would say top five places I wanted to visit. So very excited to check that off. Yeah, for me, I think I'm just excited to spend time with Luke, my wife. 
So that's gonna be fun. I want to take some gonna, more photos. More, more photos, <laughs> yes, yes. And take him to the, the aquarium over there. So it's gonna be cool. And then, yeah, it's gonna be fun to meet all of the other photographers that mm. I've met in uh, in He's that last year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that's gonna be interesting. Just connect and create some magic with the photos, and also speak with some of the mentors and uh, yeah, pick their brain a little bit more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think three things that I'm looking forward to the most is one, I finally have some time off. The original plan when I was booking this this workshop, I was like, oh, one well, there I can shoot some weddings and I can probably get some clients and 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 make the most out of it in terms of building p- portfolio and at least break even in terms of the travel cost and all that. But I've gotten sort of like lazy through that through that process just because I feel like, do I really want to? <laughs> like I mean, like. Photographing in Hawaii is amazing, but at the same time, it's like it's one of those opportunities like I don't get that often in terms of traveling with family, like not much work. I think just being able to relax on on a nice weather, I think that alone has been has been coming. So yeah, definitely looking forward to that. Meeting I think doing the the patch pod, the whole the summer in Hawaii series, I think yeah, I think that'll be a lot of fun. Mm. So, and then the last one is I finally get to see show my son now a six year old Hawaii and maybe hopefully we'll be able to see some some wildlife in the in the ocean. So he's he's a very outdoorsy person. So we will go some hiking and do some swimming and he's yeah, gonna so. have fun. Yeah. Well, I think that was a good sort of like a chit chat, literally mm-hmm. about the about the review of the podcast and also about the announcement of what's coming soon in, in the, during the summertime. All right. Well, you can you can listen to us on Spotify, uh, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Castbox, uh, and you can watch us on YouTube and Spotify. Yeah. See you in Hawaii. <laughs> See you in Hawaii. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.